Hey guys, I'm Angel. And I'm Emily. And welcome to episode one of our podcast, Let's Be Honest. So this podcast is just going to be a realistic podcast of our life. Uh, as you can see, right now we're we're like really doing nothing. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. We did not pack to actually film this. We didn't pack no. for this. No, we didn't. We didn't actually like pack. <laughs> Today's episode is called, let's be honest, 13 sucked. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it does. Now, we both currently are 13, but we don't plan on this coming out very soon, but no, it's it's new year's eve as we're filming as we're filming happy new year's uh it's not gonna come out anytime soon so for the ones who are watching if this ends up on spotify i don't know if this will end up as a like spotify podcast i don't know know. uh but if it does for those who are watching you see we have this crappy little microphone yeah it's it's okay we're trying to work ourselves it's, up to yeah it's meant for clipping on your shirt and stuff but i didn't bring my podcast microphone because i didn't know that we would be filming yeah yeah we did think that we were going to film a little bit but we didn't film as much as we thought we were going to film because she left her camera in the car yeah you want to talk about your hair first <laughs> yeah let's talk about my hair so guys i dyed it pink it's kind of like faded. purple it's like purplish now it kind of faded but you know it's okay and kind i of look like, like a like fool that. i did oh my hair. god emily was... did my hair and she's like oh my gosh it's so cute i look like a baby <laughs> no you don't <laughs> i look like a baby no you don't and guys this is literally us being 100 percent real this is just no editing nothing just a real podcast sorry i was just staring off into the camera uh, a little thing just came up saying this storage may be low <laughs> i know it always says that i don't understand why i kind of sound like a man <laughs> hi okay okay uh should we get into today's topic let's get into today's topic okay 13 sucks now before emily starts reading off her reasonings i just want to say 13 doesn't suck for everyone but for us it certainly did (laughs) 13 was just not a good year for us yeah it just wasn't yeah and i'm about to be 14 and i'm newly 13 <laughs> yeah she's just started off um being 13 but honestly this list is not about just things that sucked at 13 but these this is things sorry the microphone was kind of far <laughs> it's okay this is things that i've learned at 13 yeah it's not just anything that it's uh, not just that like, like oh oh my 13. god 13 sucks yeah we're going to say what sucked about being 13 and what we have learned So here's my list of 13 things I learned at 13. Make sure to explain your reasoning. That's what I'm going to do. Number one. Number one, you have to love yourself to love someone else. Now, I kind of, like, I kind of definitely realized that. So I was in a relationship with someone, and I did like him. And I kind of, when I went downhill with my mental health, I started to realize that I, like, didn't lose feelings, but I kind of just, you know kind of forgot who i was because i was trying too hard to be happy for someone else yeah like you can't be in a relationship without if you can't love yourself you gotta love yourself first before you can actually be in a relationship so that's number one number two is being close to someone can hurt you more than you think Ooh. 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 before you guys think it's not me it's not me us being close is just us being close yeah we are very close we've been friends for five years Oh my god, we've been friends for five years. Five years? Ah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, ah. that's crazy. We're only 13. We're only 13. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we met at like nine. Well, I, we met when I was seven, but I was about to turn eight the next day, and you nine. were eight. Oh, I was eight. Yeah, you were eight. You were going to turn nine, though. Okay, so this one is mainly talking about a person, which I'm not going to say. <clears throat> I'm not going to spill tea. But <laughs> being close to someone can really, like, someone that's, like, very unhealthy can very drain, like, really drain you. Being close to someone isn't as glamorous as it's said to be. Like, yeah, you can be close to someone, but that doesn't mean that yes. it's going to be good. Yeah, so I was very close to this person, and it just was really toxic with the way 
that our friendship was I going. I write down some reasonings. <laughs> okay. So it was very, it was very toxic of the way oh that God. it was going. Do do? Sorry, she just got a new phone. Use a whole new notes. So it was very toxic on how the relationship was going. And it just wasn't healthy. And when I learned that being close to someone can hurt you more than you think until the end, is that during the friendship, I didn't realize that it was hurting me until the end. I did. (laughs) I did. Sorry. Okay. Learning how to love yourself is the most important thing. Ooh, get into that. (laughs) Okay. So the most important thing that I realized in life is loving yourself and life kind of surrounds around you now i'm not gonna speak so much on life because i know a lot of people aren't like that but i really am i really talk much about life and much about confidence and much about all that type of stuff and um loving yourself definitely helps you live a longer and happier life and it's known it's literally known to love yourself that can make you happier and confident along with the people with you relationships also help you live a long and happy life but that's not the point the point is is that loving yourself kind of opens up your eyes to more like loving yourself mentally or just like i don't know just you have to love yourself to understand what's going on in the world you know yeah okay uh next thing don't overthink things that aren't a big deal in the end now this is something that i've been dealing with for a long time The story time is probably out, right? By this time. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Um, So you kind of have to... You have to... Like, in the moment, you're overthinking about this one thing. But when you do it, it's not a big deal. So you're basically wasting all your time overthinking about this one specific thing that isn't a big deal in the end. So I kind of just realized that. And that's why I said don't overthink things that don't need to be over thinked or anything doesn't need to be overthinked but a lot of people are overthinkers i'm writing my last reasoning okay be patient with yourself and people now this is something that i've learned (laughs) sorry this is something i definitely learned (laughs) like two days ago where being patient with myself is like if i'm in a sad mental state i'll be like just get better you know but being patient is like I will get better with time. I will slowly work up. Oh my god, I love better. that. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so true because you're so when you're if you if you have like anxiety or if you are depressed or anything, you know, like you're just like you I want to get yourself better. up. You, you beat, beat yourself, yourself up like up. why aren't you happy? Literally. Why why can't I be happy? You kill your self-esteem. So Yeah. That's what I learned about it was that you have to be patient with yourself. And you have to be patient with others because being patient with others is like if someone's not doing something. This is me personally. If someone's not doing something, the timing that you want it to do, you will push them, push them, push them until they get angry. (laughs) And you have to be patient with other people and you have to be patient with yourself mostly. So there's my reasoning. That was amazing. Sorry if that audio sounds a little bit like off and on we keep on moving the microphone like away and so yeah okay my first reasoning is everyone everyone makes a big deal about it now i say this because literally anything that i do now anything that i do it's well it's mainly my little sister saying this yeah you guys know my little sister spirit you know her literally anything that i do she's like oh you think you're so cool now because you're a teenager you think you're so cool because you're 13 like what yeah. like literally the other night i was like kind of fighting with her we were fighting <laughs> i had said duh i said duh and she was like oh you think that just because you're a teenager now you're all that all that and she <sighs> was annoying me so much i was like no no i've always said duh and she was like no you think that you're all that you think you're all that yeah so that's what i mean by it. everybody makes a big deal about it okay. not everybody spirit, spirit. <laughs> reasoning number two i'm old yeah i don't know why something about it's not i'm not scared of aging it's just 
it's just the feeling of the years passing going, by uh, like just i think of i think of like a random memory i'm like oh my gosh that was that was so nice years. and then i think wait that, that was like four years ago i have a question for you guys in general can you guys remember four years from now like can you guys remember four years in the past four years in the past of what you did on a thursday no like no you it's, can't because i feel like life I feel like for me, I have to write down every little thing to to recognize what I have in life, to know what I actually have. But also what goes along with that is, yeah, I remember things and I realized that it was so long, so long ago. Yeah. But also, I don't remember things that I want to remember. Like, I, my memory just gets That's all fuzzy. That's why you guys should write down in your journal every little thing. That's my New Year's revolution. I am, revolution, is it? resolution resolution is to <laughs> revolution resolution <laughs> is to write in my journal every single day it doesn't matter how i feel it doesn't matter what i'm doing write in my journal every day and just write everything that happened during that day so that can help me remember everything not even the best moments but anything yeah but the thing is like i'll get mad at myself for not remembering like the stupidest things like that's why you write it down i get mad because uh i can't remember what I had last night. I can't. Yes. I can't remember what I had last night. I'm like, ugh. You had this last night. Come on. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Mm-hmm. My mental. <laughs> my mental. <laughs> my mental health has been a mess. Now. Okay. Y'all. Literally, when I turned 13, mm-hmm. the day before I turned 13, I got hit with like a huge wave. Yeah. It was a huge wave. Because your my birthday plans were ruined. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds so stupid. No, let me explain. It's true though. No, but because they're gonna to be like, you. oh, they're they're gonna be like, your birthday plans were were messed up, and you're acting like a little brat. No, okay, so here how I was a few weeks before my birthday, me and Emily we were planning to have a sleepover and stuff. Mm-hmm. I had planned out everything. Yeah, everything, and when I plan, when I. My thing is, if I plan out something, it has to go exactly like that. Yeah. It has to. It just has and then it, to. And then she, if, she, if it doesn't, she'll be like, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. If it doesn't, You'll get so I'm mad. just like, I don't want I don't want to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's not even that I'm being a brat. It's just like, I got it so... Go. It has I to. got so excited for this. Mm-hmm. I had planned it out in my mind how it was going to go, and I got excited. Yeah. And now I'm being let down and disappointed. So the day before my birthday, I find out Emily she can't come to my birthday. Yes. That it ruined was, my whole it, mood. It well It was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it was my fault. But it was my fault. But it was it I was in a rough time at the time. She's not being mean, just letting you guys know. It was my fault. I was it was so mad. <laughs> It was my brain. It wasn't my fault. Okay, don't be. It was totally your fault. It was not my fault. Anyways, anyways, I, I was so upset. What if we did ASMR? Ew. (laughs) Uh, Anyways, I got so mad with myself for some reason, and next day on my birthday, like, you guys have seen the vlog. Mm -hmm. I was only filming when I. when I was like, okay, I, I have to film. I have to get this video done. I have to make sure that it's a decent amount of time. Yeah. Like. If you guys haven't checked out the I video. Was, I was. You should. Yeah, you should. But I was forcing a smile on my face. Because inside, I was literally freaking out. I was like, okay, my birthday's not going to go like this. How is it going to go then? And I was overthinking. And I think that that's the reason why. That's one of the reasons why my birthday wasn't the best birthday for me and it was my it was my 13th that's why i was so upset that i wasn't going the way that i wanted because i my 13th is what i've been thinking about for years years. like that's the year that you become a teenager and i was like oh my gosh this is not not going the way yeah but life (laughs) Like I said, doesn't always go the way you plan, and that's why life kind of hits you with random things. Yeah, you know, 
So like, what if you you can't plan for the future? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't you can't be like, oh, you, me and you can't be like, oh, tomorrow's gonna be like this and then this. We don't know what tomorrow has to hold for us. So why? Mm-hmm. How are we gonna plan tomorrow if we don't know what it's gonna do? We don't know the weather. What if we're like, oh, we're gonna go swimming? How are we gonna go swimming mm-hmm. if we don't know what the weather is gonna be like tomorrow? You understand? It's hard to plan for things. In, for the future when you don't know what it is yeah but that was like the very beginning of like my mental health getting mm. bad yeah again yeah it it got worse as time went because i was going longer and longer without seeing you and yeah. also and wasn't that i was getting time? hit with like a bunch of like youtube stuff i was stressing myself out i was getting mad at myself like why can't i do this it's seriously like i was like you you could edit these videos before when Emily wasn't an impatient and when you guys were talking regularly. Why can't you do it now? Why can't you do it now? I was so mad at myself yeah. to the point where I just didn't want to, I didn't want to get up in the morning. I Yeah, and I definitely feel that too because I feel like we're both kind of in the same mental place as well, but in different ways because when I was impatient, when? I'm going to tell you guys that time, you lose track of time. And uh, for the people who haven't been an impatient, and I don't recommend going, but you can't see time because you don't have your phone. And there's <laughs> you. And I'm not really good at reading like those clocks that are on the walls. But time goes slow, so slow. Like it goes so slow. And mainly because we are so close, I feel like, I feel like, even if the slightest thing goes wrong and your life and your mental health gets bad the same thing happens with me my mental health will our mad our energies just match so yeah, and I, if you're giving off a bad energy i'm giving off a bad you energy. you know what's funny is my mom says that and i'm gonna say that so truly she always like before we hang out she's like you know i just realized this about you you and angels that you guys for some like i feel like you guys can make <clears throat> your mental illness worse or you guys can make it better she's like sometimes worse you guys feed into your mental illnesses do you understand you know what she's saying like if you're if i'm feeling sad that reminds me you'll feed like i will want you to feed into it you understand yeah literally two days ago when when you were texting me like that's what i'm saying that's how this whole conversation i lost i kind of like lost it i was panicking i had a full-on panic and anxiety attack i was on the phone with your mom i was crying i was like emily i don't know what's wrong and i think also just to add in the other video is that i think 2023 not to make our like mental health relationship farther away but i think we should stop feeding into our mental health together because that's just also ruins our mental health by feeding into each other yeah but the thing is like we're just it's There's not something even about it, but yeah, we're not going to get too deep into it because we still not, have a full list to do still. <sighs> yeah. But the thing is, like, it's not even that we're, we're like, we're oh, trying. you're sad. Okay, I'm going to be sad. It's literally because Just, we're so close. We're yeah. so close and our energies just bounce off of each other. Uh-huh. We, like, when we're filming together, our energies, they work so well together. Yeah. So when we're away from each other and i'm not saying it's like not going to be the same but i think like what we should do is like you know not send pictures of us crying just stop please don't do that to me again yeah that's that's what my mom was saying she was saying like you know i feel like once you do that it just feeds into it more and i'm like okay then i mean we can tell each other that we're not okay but okay. we can't oh sorry it's my little sister you're picking Locked. her Where we we f- yeah we're filming so <laughs> okay where is she <laughs> so yeah i feel like we shouldn't feed into it as much as we l- like usually do yeah because of okay okay enough with my mental health uh we are back uh anyways like back to what we were saying uh the, the last thing well it wasn't the last thing on the list i had read another thing off the list it was i hate everything about myself what okay what i mean about that is like i'm constantly just picking on myself and this is something that has happened this is something that's been happening yeah and okay i'm going to have a little bit of an honest moment Mm -hmm. it's been happening for a while ever since i was like nine 
Yeah. Because I was in cheer. And that's because of I was, the coaches. It was no, but the thing is, it was just this one little thing. It was this one little thing. I was they were like, Oh, can we see if you can be a flyer? And I was like, Sure. The girls picked me up and all that I heard from under me was Oh my gosh, she's so heavy. She's so freaking heavy. And it wasn't even like uh, it wasn't even like they meant to by accident. They they were saying it in a petty way. They were like, trying to hurt my feelings. They were like, oh, "You're so." They were like, oh, "You're so heavy. You are so." You tell the coach that heavy. You're- and the thing is, I was one of the. Le- I'm w- still a very light person. I'm very sk- skinny. Compared, yeah. Yeah. Compared to other people, I'm very skinny. But just from hearing that. Still have it. It still sticks to me this day. Like I still look at at myself in the mirror. I know we both. I know. I think honestly, I think that I have body dys dysphoria. I think that it's called. But I look at. It's like you see something different when you're looking in the mirror or when you're looking down. You see something different. Yeah. Whenever I look in the mirror, like at first I can see myself. I'm like, oh. And then you look more. And then, like the longer that I stare. The bigger that I look at, I'm just like, oh my god, no wonder these girls are saying that I'm heavy. I am. You're not. And I freak out. Now, anybody, I don't, you, I don't want anybody to get offended by this because you are gorgeous. It's more of just a me thing. It's, it's something that stuck to me because these girls who were around my age, who were tall and skinny, they said this to me. And it affected you. Yeah, and it's oh, stop. And I'm not. I'm not getting emotional right now, but it's, well, it it's, just stuck to me. It hurt honest. me. I'm, I'm getting very emotional. Can I connect with that? Yeah, including with the eating and including with a little, like a little thing that someone said. This coach during cross country, he said something about vomiting and i've always had the fear of throwing up and you know that i know that you guys know that and and cheer it, coaches yes and like, yeah so horrible they are and so they created he it wasn't because of what he said it well it was it was but it wasn't because like he meant it in a rude way you don't say that to any anybody yeah but like still it made my brain made it think such a big thing and once I started to not, like, once I went to school, I was afraid that I was going to throw up, so I didn't eat food. Now, mind you, when I wasn't eating food, I was also insecure about my body. I was like, you know, I want those skinny waists that go- those girls on Instagram See, have. I want a flat stomach, so that's why I was working out. Yeah, and you, I remember, you would always come to me, and you would be like, Do oh I my god, my st- yeah, my stomach is so big. I would be like, girl, yeah. shut up. Girl, so, shut up. Yeah. But also, like, once we would hang up, I would go in the mirror, I would be like, my stomach is so big. So, like, after, like, I, to the point where I wasn't, where the only thing I was eating was crackers and a juice box for lunch, and I wouldn't eat anything in the morning. Yeah, I've completely stopped eating breakfast just because, like, but, I know, I know that's not true. But, but it's it's stuck just, it's stuck. it's it stuck with me. It stuck with me, and now I just go to the mornings hungry. And I've, honestly, I I'm, haven't really been eating recently. I'm used. I'm used. I'm used to the. I'm used to the feeling of feeling hungry, and which is very sad to say. Which I'm going to start crying because, which no like one private. should be used to. Used to the. Uh, yeah, you no should, one. Should no one be. should have to feel used to used to be like feeling hungry. hungry. To your body telling you, like, hey, You're, I you need, need to eat. Uh, getting off of the topic of mental health. Happy New Year! <laughs> we, literally, we literally, like, paused this video just so just that we could talk, talk, talk more. Something. And we missed the ball drop. Yeah, we, we missed did. it. <laughs> but we heard something. And we were like, <laughs> we were her bop. We heard my mom scream, Happy New Year's! And I screamed outside. I wish you guys got it, but I screamed outside, Happy New Year's, and someone screamed it back. Yeah, but getting off of the topic, uh, let's go into my next thing. <laughs> next thing on my list is boys. <laughs> boys. What I mean by that is like, boys. I, I. Is that my boy? I started okay. liking a few boys recently. It also like 
I'm still me as a whole. I'm just gonna say this. I'm not straight. It's obvious I'm not. No. But I'm I'm trying to figure out who you are. Yeah. yeah. I've just been and saying. Let me like, tell you. Do not ship us because we are best friends <laughs> and we do not like each other. <laughs> clear, because my family keeps shipping us. So does mine. <laughs> but yeah, but, like why, you guys are best friends. Why don't you guys just date boys? Like, I haven't actually like liked an actual like boy. Usually, I like like grown men. But yeah, uh, but I actually haven't I think liked, I liked anyone. one boy. I haven't liked any like boys in a well, while that's because they haven't. That's because boys they haven't fully grown. Yeah, so really but understand. I started liking. <sighs> a few people i i feel like i shouldn't say their names just because like they could be watching even though they're celebrities but mm, should i say one mm-hmm. i'll say one finn wolfhard even though he's considered a grown man now but still he's 18 right 19. 19 he's 20 now he just turned 20. well you guys could basically you date when you're like 19. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, um, because no, because you know when you're when you're over eighteen, it doesn't matter how big the age gap is anymore. I just yeah okay. Emily's insane. What? Okay, next thing on my list is girls. Mm-hmm. That that can be taken. Your water. <laughs> that can be taken in multiple ways. Girls, as in like, girls are just like certain girls are can be mean ill. Yeah, but then also like goes along with my like sexuality journey it's just like girls that's all that's all and then last one that i have wrote down is i'm not 10 anymore and that kind of goes along with the um i'm old i'm not 10 anymore and that makes me sad (laughs) um i think what was good about being 13 is the experience of 13 I can't really say much because I turned 13 in October, so... Yeah, but I can because 13 is... She's almost done being 13. I'm about to be 14. Oh, God. January, February. Two months. Excuse me. Well, no, not two months. One month now. One month and four days. Oh, my God. I'm about to be 14. We're going to go horseback riding. We're going to go get our nail done. Yeah, we're going to go horseback riding, and I'm going to get my ears pierced again. Man, I have a headache. You do? Yeah. I, Did you say town? No, I'll take meds. <laughs> I like one o'clock in the morning. I don't like drugs. I'm not taking drugs. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> one of the plus about being 13 so far for me is some some more responsibility, but also I haven't really gotten to experience 13, a whole bunch. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're. I think that we should end this here. Yeah. Uh, this is our first episode of Let's Be Honest. Yeah. How are you guys enjoying it? It's kind of just us talking real talk with you guys. If you guys liked this podcast, make sure you just like it. Write a little review. Um, yeah. tell us what you would like to see, and we will try our best to make your idea come true. Yeah, and we're just going to do this whatever like whenever yeah there's no like specific there like we're not doing this like once a week or anything we're just no. going to we do, do post once we a want. week on youtube though yeah we do post once a week but not podcast this, yeah not podcast this this is just something that we'll do randomly yeah we're going to end it here i hope everybody's enjoying their 2023 we love you guys and we will see you next week Next week, next week for our regular YouTube channel, and our regular. We'll channel. see you when we can with podcast podcast channel. I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. We'll we love you guys. Bye. Bye.